Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. After uploading some of my chemistry classes, alhamdulillah, I have received a lot of good feedback. So here I am with you um, for another chemistry class. Inshallah, today we will be learning about polyatomic ions. Now, what we will be doing in today's class is turning the name into the formula. So, inshallah, today we will be doing this. Um, and before, I, I want to give you an example. Today we will be working on calcium hydroxide. So let me just write that down. Hydroxide. Now, we have to turn this name into the formula we have to expand it and write it into the formula before we work through this together i want you all to try it yourself pause this video try it before um, i start explaining this okay so um if you have not found the answer then let's work it together if you do then great job now check with me so calcium hydroxide let's just name our elements first now, calcium, as we know, is Ca, okay? And calcium is an alkaline earth metal, and this wants to become a 2 plus cation, okay? So, this it will be its um, magnitude. Then, we have hydroxide, and we would represent, we would represent hydroxide as not hydrogen, but a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. So, we would write HO, and in the parentheses, and its magnitude would be 1 minus. So, that means that hydrogen, um, hydroxide, always carries a negative charge. So, now, what we want to do is equally cancel out the charges so that we can just write the formula. But we can't cancel out 2 plus and 1 minus. We have to do 2 plus and 2 minus. This only has 1 minus. So we need two atoms of hydroxide, or if I could write it next to it, it would be like this. So this would be 2 minus, or just um, two atoms of this. So I'm just going to erase this. Two atoms of hydroxide. Then... This uh, calcium 2 plus, obviously the magnitude would be 2 plus, and hydroxide 2 atoms of 1 minus would be 2 minus, which we could equally cancel out. So our formula, I'm just going to write it finally, will be CaHO2. This is our formula for calcium hydroxide. Okay, Fatia, since you have done it, I want to give you another name and I'm um, looking forward whether you can turn that into a formula. Okay, one second. Yes, go ahead. Uh, the name I should give you, let me think, it can be lithium hydrogen phosphate. Can you turn in, in this name into a formula? Sure, one second. Uh, lithium hydrogen phosphate, you said? Yep. Phosphate. Yeah, okay. So, again, lithium is Li. And um, on the periodic table, it has a 1 plus charge magnitude, which it wants to become. Now, hydrogen phosphate is actually one compound, one uh, part. So, it's basically hydrogen. And then phosphate is... P O four. And what was the magnitude? It always carries a negative two charge. Negative two charge. Okay. See, even I mix it up sometimes. Okay. Anyways, uh, this is our hydrogen phosphate and our lithium. Now, again, to cancel it out, we need two plus and two minus. So what we're gonna do is leave the hydrogen phosphate alone. I'm gonna take two atoms of lithium. Let me just make that bigger. So then our magnitude for lithium would be 2 plus and um, we would just leave uh, hydrogen phosphate the same. So it's going to be 2 minus. Keep it there. So finally, our formula for lithium hydrogen phosphate, hydrogen phosphate would be Li2 
HPO4. This is our formula. So dear viewers, I hope you all understood about how to turn the name into a formula of a polymath atomic ion. Inshallah, in my next content, in my next chemistry class, I will show you all how we can turn the formula to the name and not how we did today, just opposite. So keep watching. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.